Today we're going to show how to flash around a roof curb. That could be a skylight, a chimney, or any box on the roof. Uh, it's on a shingle roof. And uh, what you would do, I'm going to start from the edge of the roof and work my way up. When you get up to the curb, You'll cut your shingle out to fit around the curb, and it'll fit your pattern. Then you will install a head flashing, just like this. You cut so it comes out at the end. This head flashing, you can tack it up here. Sometimes it doesn't need it. But you'll end up putting three or four nails in the bottom. Then you will take a tin shingle, cut it at an angle, and that'll be your first tin shingle. The angle will start here and come out. Next shingle will go in, keeping your pattern. You put another tin shingle, overlap an inch or more. Your next shingle, your last tin shingle up here will just be a, a slice up, bend around, just like that. Simple. I'm going to fit an extra piece in here because we would normally continue our shingles going out here. And I'll put a piece here so I can show what we're going to do up here. I'm going to put a small piece right here just to show that that's okay. It'll keep your pattern. You'll nail up here. Now we still got our pattern. And we put one more before the saddle goes on. And now I'm going to cut the saddle so it comes out at least three inches. You can even go four. Three inches would be, this is four inch by 14 inch. So a 45 degree angle would be cut just like that. If you want to come out a little further, you just cut a, a lesser angle. The entire angle is on the outside, on both sides. So, your next shingle will come across up in that area. So the idea is the water comes down, it hits the saddle, comes all the way out here, spills onto the roof, and comes down the roof. This is a simple way to flash a curb. The only areas that you have to caulk with urethane caulking is right behind the saddle. You'll caulk a strip up. And then at the bottom where that first tin shingle sticks out, there's a little strip right here that you'll caulk up. Urethane caulking only for metal against metal. And uh, it, it works the best. Those four spots, those four corners, are the most vulnerable area on the, on the curb. So the idea again, water comes down here, runs off here, comes down, everything bypasses. Any water, the way a tin shingle run works, is the water comes from one shingle and it, it might blow in or slip into this on top of this tin shingle. It comes back out on this shingle. This tin shingle comes back out on this shingle. This tin shingle comes out here. It all keeps running downhill. So if it's done right, you don't have any problems with it. So, if there's a skylight going on it, 
and the skylight happens to happens to hit right here this tin this saddle can be cut down and then angled out you'll still have your angle out because you want to carry your water around but whatever you're putting over the top will slip over If it's a real high curve like this, you'll either have to use special tin shingles that are exceptionally wide because you'd still want to come out here at least three inches under the shingle, but it has to come up to the top of the curve or at least enough, far enough under whatever is flashing it. Or you can put another piece of flashing right here. It could be a half by five. It could be uh, just sheet metal but it has to flash from here over the top of the shingle. So if whatever's going on top of it doesn't do that, then you have to add a piece around and then you put your skylight on. If this is going against a wall, then it might be a block wall or a brick wall. You would cut a groove in the, in the uh, next joint up in your block or brick and you will install a half by five in that groove to counter flash and then you will caulk the top of the half by five with Vulcan uh, or urethane caulking. So that's, uh, that's how we want our, our curbs flashed and when we go up on the roof we want to see this and we want to see this. Thank you.